Good morning. Welcome to another No Miss Opportunities Network meeting via Zoom. Uh, this week, we may have some special guests, but I don't want to announce anybody that may not necessarily show up on one of our future future meetings. Davis, what's going on? How are you? Are people joining in at 11? Yo, I'm a hacker. Yo, being hacked. I'm sorry, uh, like, I hacked your uh, Twitter. Okay. I just shared the, this link in some far right wing extremist Discord server. So, okay. who you like invite? I'm sorry. No, no worries. Where are you calling from? Uh, I have a scent. Oh, you mean country? Yeah, what country? Well, uh, I'm from. Uh, I'm actually from uh, the Panavision region uh, from Lithuania. Lithuania. Okay. I'm I'm out in California. I I'm glad that you uh you uh saw the link. Um I do marketing. One of the things in this meeting is uh the fact that I can do international marketing. So you seeing the Twitter link within a minute in Lithuania is generally extremely valuable. Oh, okay. Okay, have fun and be cautious who you invite. Okay. Okay, I, goodbye. Have, uh, have a funny day and uh, be healthy. You too. You be healthy as well. Thank you for tapping okay. in. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have luck. Okay. So... This is the value of Tony Stark's marketing, which is one of the topics of new discussion. We also have someone else coming in here. I met Andy in here. Hey, Andy, what's going on? And then we have the vulgar brand tapping in. Okay. EJ, what's going on? What up? Oh, man, you know, just uh, kind of getting this thing started. Um, I already shared on Twitter. So you've been our third person so far in this meeting. The first person was from uh, Lithuania. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so I was trying to um, kind of, uh, share this, you know, internationally and express some of the benefits of like uh, our new startup, Tony Stark's marketing. So that was actually proved with the first minutes of the meeting. I just like saying Lithuania. What's that? I just like saying Lithuania. Yes. Yes. Lithuania is, it, it definitely has a ring to it. It is. Doing some marketing for people to come in, people to. Come in to you know, drop in. How's your day going so far? Oh, man, you know, another day, another dollar. I can dig it. You know, what about yours? Everything's straight. Um, it's been pretty busy. Uh, how's, uh, are you able to get the, the connection? Are you able to see this clear? I'm seeing everything clear and cool. Okay, you yeah, see I was concerned about, um, Let's see. What you got there? You can see me good. Cool. Okay. 
Yeah. I, um, I was actually concerned about the audio. You know, I got a new set of uh, wireless head headphones. And then I'm also kind of operating on, off the new phone, which I think you've, I'm trying to move past that. <laughs> it happens. You know. Got to learn to operate the new features, I feel it. Yeah. So I'm doing that, trying to make sure things are getting, uh, you know, uh, set up correctly, especially for this meeting, because this is one of the, the paid events that we're doing um, uh, via Facebook uh, for no missed opportunities. Um, ideally, the new format is going to be where we're charging for the meeting itself. All right. And there will be a guest list that get on so that way they can get the link directly if they're so inclined. Gotcha. Okay. So um, I saw I definitely wanted to, you know, reiterate some of the things like uh, no missed opportunities is a 501 C3. That's federal exempt and people that are involved, you know, are urged to, uh, you know, become members, ideally board members, uh, so that way they can keep their accounting uh, for the benefits of the donations and grants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to highlight um, the idea that Things like when you use your business um, vulgar brand to do food giveaways, uh, those are those are things that you know from accounting need to be uh, documented, submitted, and uh, reported so that way you can continue to do them. All right, all right. I got another one coming up towards the end of this month. Looking forward to doing that one. Uh, also, I had a, a little bit of uh, a little bit of things that I wanted to touch on in regards to. Uh, presenting on a screen share. Yeah, I got another person dropping in. Okay. Um, whoever this is, it says iPhone. I got a patient. Okay. The online marketing. So these are going to be a little, uh, some of these are going to be Twitter followers that drop in. Um, which currently the Twitter marketing uh, is part of the Tony Stark's marketing, uh, which is offering uh, pay partnerships currently uh, through Instagram is now eligible through pay partnerships. So each, each brand that's um, in a pay partnership, those are going to be, uh, those are going to be based off the request. Uh, the idea is that they do get you in front of eyes and, you know, in the process of this meeting, uh, there's going to be people that are going to drop in, um, I believe the term is, I think it's like Zoom bombing 
is what it is. People dropping in like that. Uh, but it's just showing the fact that the Tony Stark's marketing does get you in front of live people. Some of the paid marketing that most people do is not organic uh, through So West Coast and Tony Stark's marketing. We do organic marketing so that way you get live people. So the request and the pay partnerships are going to be shared on YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Spotify, um, which this video again will be shared like that as well. I see you got the Volga brand hat on there, you know, product placement. Yes, sir. It's actually the new era vulgar hat okay little collaboration joint i could dig it Limited right. you know I'm, I'm actually very very proud to see things like that uh when i do these videos and these meetings because the idea is that uh the product placement is our brands in our videos that are promoted online um it only makes sense those cents do add up and these companies do pay online advertising cents and you got to start with cents if you want to make some dollars it all starts from here from scratch so um also some other uh digital ways that so west coast is generating those dollars is um through Apple Music and all streaming platforms, you can go online and actually buy the So West Coast brand music label uh, starting at 99 cents or another uh, So West Coast sponsor. You can uh, create an Apple Music account and I'll make sure I put the link in the video so that way if you are watching this or listening to it on our podcast on Spotify, you will be able to uh, join Apple Music at uh, nine ninety nine and listen to So West Coast music on all streaming platforms. Um, something else also that we have been working with uh, with our production services that again are based on your requests with So West Coast is um, our what I would consider. 18 plus based content, uh, which is going to be now offered for $9.99 pay-per-view on OnlyFans. It's OS Coast. Again, I will add the link so you can see the um, things that are, let's say, uh, flagged for like YouTube, our typical YouTube is now uh, creating kind of a rating system, you know, for the 18 plus. So we're able to produce that content and put it on our OnlyFans for pay-per-view. And that is $9.99 as well, a month for subscriptions. So, all right, I think that's pretty much what all I have for this particular meeting. EJ, if you want to, um, if you want to take over and kind of give um, everyone an overview of your company, your brand, your product, and what it is that you do and how to find you, I can do a little bit of marketing in the background. All right. Basically, I am the Volga brand. And uh, we make custom hoodies, hats, gloves, leather work, accessories. We got a few different things. But uh, right now, we're about to relaunch. And, um, yeah, we're just preparing for the fall. But as of every once a month, we do like to gather up on Skid Row, gather together. And we like to give away socks and pizza or socks and candy. You know, just, just give away some socks and something. 
Because nine times out of ten, the homeless people out there need clean, dry socks. It's a thing that gets really overlooked in our community. Yeah. That's where a lot of the work has been going towards a lot of charitable work right now. But that's pretty much what's going on with me. I've been also about trading Forex cryptocurrencies, but I'm not all the way knowledgeable on that to talk about it just yet. Give me a couple more weeks on that. But uh, yeah, all about progress, learning something new, and staying out of trouble. There's plenty of trouble to get into, and the trust is to stay out of it. Well, I mean, what's what kind of stuff you got going on with the forex? I mean, you're you're if you're in the beginning stages, that's where most people are going to start. So it's not professional advice per se, but it's still networking, um, you know, information. And then also too, I wanted to say what's up to Moolah. He just dropped in. Yeah, yeah, Nick, you good? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm straight, man. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm in the studio, actually. Um, I didn't just want to text and say, you know, I'm going to go off for now and then probably jump back again, like in 20 minutes, because I'm in the stool and I'm lacing, you know. So we're working right here. So, OK, yeah. well, but uh, what's it called? If you're in the studio, where, where can we find that music? I'm pretty sure you're on Spotify. You know I am on Spotify, you know, you've been plugging my shit, you know, worldwide too, you know. So don't be playing with me here, Nick. Yeah. You know what's going on. <laughs> you know what's going yeah. on. Yeah, hey, man. look, you know, not you everybody know taps in. Not everybody taps in from Africa, Mula. You know what I mean? They they don't know that the Tony Stark marketing is real. You know what I mean? Yeah. We out here really it's very really real, man. <laughs> it's very real. This is where I'm at, man. I'm chilling with the, you know, homies. This is hasty. What's you know? the pity? What's good? What up? What up? What up? You know, up, man. Hey, hey, make sure, make sure we get that link so that way we could add you over, over to, uh, you know what I mean, the the video so that way people can hear your music. For sure, for sure, he's talking to you about me. All right, all right, cool, man. You know, you know what's that? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what's up, man. I mean, I I know where I know where the music links at. <laughs> You know, my nigga, you know, um, I'm, I'm going to jump in again. You know, I really love what you do, man. Keep doing it. You know, Likewise, I man. It. you know, you know, it's respect all the way from Africa, Nick, man. You know, that's so right. Gonna be right. On my side, yeah, you know. Coast to coast. Coast to coast. I'm I, trying to get you I, over here so I can get some of the clothes. You know what I mean? We're going to drop that. Yeah. Yeah. With that stool wear shit. You know, and he been saying that he needs to send some merch to you. You know, he's trying hey, look, to work look. on that. <laughs> <laughs> we wait. We, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm keeping it on the low. You know what I mean? Hey, look, check this out. You know, we not we got real, we got to got to send we got to send that money to the motherland for real, for real. <laughs> I feel you, Nick. On some no real excuse, shit. No miss opportunity. Need <laughs> we need y'all this side, man. We need y'all this side for real, you man. Know, we, so we, love, man. I need you to know, jump on the mic, you know. Here's my producer, you know. We're working okay. here, you know. We locked okay. in, you know. Getting it we're in. We're doing some shit, you know. We're doing some shit right now. So I'm going to probably jump in a little later on if you guys will be still hosting the meeting, you know. That's what's up. I got you. Salute. Salute. Okay. You know, stock's going up. Now, I was trying to show you the charts. So this is my personal account. As you can see, I depleted it because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just up on here gambling, trying to figure stuff out. But I wasn't really, uh, I got, I have access to artist academia that tells you how to read these charts, how to make these predictions. It tells you about the candle charts. Right here, all you're seeing is a straight graph. You feel me? This is the purchase line. This is the expiration time. Right here, this white line. So okay. what, you know, what you try to do is you try to get in low and you try to make sure that you sell high. Or you could do the opposite where you buy high and sell low. But, you know, it's, it's generally just trading money. Like this is uh, the US dollar versus the SEK. I'm not exactly sure, but you know, that's one of the markets. 
this is a good market that your, you your camera's a little off. I can't can't see your screen. There you go. Okay. My, my bad. But yeah. But you uh you move through the markets like this and you see where you want to trade. All of this. Now this is what makes it interesting. So I got these apps through this program that I signed up with. Like this app for here right here. You see it tells you what to do as far as trading. So okay. it guarantees, like basically what I signed up for, I'm paying two seventy four a month, but for that two seventy four a month, I get access to uh, mentors. I get access to professional traders who have made millions and hundreds of thousands of dollars doing this. I get access to plenty of academia videos, Zoom meetings where they tell you how to make the trades so that you can make your money. You're trading with people who, whose uh, trading records for the day would be 28 and two, where they take, they take 28 good trades and have two bad ones. Okay. So and, uh, it, gives you, it gives you their stats. Yes, sir. Okay. But also the beauty, the beauty in it is it's money being made minutes. Like you saw my account say that I had 83 cents in there. I started that account with a hundred dollars and every trade was basically like a ten dollar uh a ten dollar investment. How, now, how much how much do, is in there now? 83 cents. I had to withdraw some money and I, I made a couple bad trades, but okay. You okay. know how I go. Rick just came by. That's what's All going right. on. <laughs> okay. So I pay rent and I said I, I'll get back to trading. Okay. That's business priorities 101, I believe. I, I hope so, because you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not going to be trading from nobody bus stop or nobody shelter. I'm going to be trading from the comfort of my own spot. I can understand. Yes, can. sir. But since I've been trading, I've actually seen, I want to say about a 20% increase in my, in my revenue. I've only been trading for a week. Okay. It, I've spent about a total on the market, a total of about 20 minutes on the market. Okay. Money moves that fast. And it's just a beautiful thing. I, I recommend anybody that wants to get into Forex, just get in contact with me. My email address is ugly, U-G-G-G-L-Y at gmail.com. And uh, we'll get you signed up with the program if that's what you're interested in. If not, we can discuss some things. You know what I'm saying? And we'll go from there. But it's where it's at. It's easy money. It's legal. It's nothing that you have to do. And it's 24 hours a day. Where can you make money in minutes? 24 hours. A day? Like, that's some pimping and hoeing type shit. You know what I mean? So, excuse my language. Well, I mean, it is an age old business. Indubitably. So. And all around the world, you're, deal you're dealing with people trading all around the world. It's no reason that you should not be making money. All this money that they print up, why are you not touching some? What what uh, inspired you to get into trading? So, let's just call this guy my brother-in-law because he's dating somebody like my sister. I watched him. He had a, a, a mobile detailing service where he was washing cars and he was working outside in the sun all day then his daughter started trading and his daughter got him into trading all of a sudden he's closing that business up and he's wearing sixty thousand dollar chains and you, you know what i mean like he's traveling he wasn't able to travel off of his detailing business he was making a good living off the detailing business but it doesn't allow a lot of free time Mm -hmm. I'm seeing them have money and free time. From the trading? From the trading. He closed down the auto detailing business, which is how he was supporting his family. The man has a family of five. You feel what I'm saying? Him, his wife, the kids. You support all these people just by moving some dollars on your phone, brother? Yeah, he told me about it months ago, but I wasn't interested. I'll be all the way honest. I was... Uh, dabbling and dabbling in the marijuana in the medical marijuana industry months ago and not to say like that's dried up because that that would be far from true 
But it's times when I'm sitting waiting on clients or waiting to make a deal. And I'm feeling like my, my, my time and my, my money is not being utilized to the utmost. And I want to I wanna maximize everything I'm doing, especially right now, because I'm trying to buy property. You know, I'm trying to pay that one piece of land off that I got on Lancaster. We're trying to actually do things to help the homeless. So we need revenue to do that. This is real revenue. I've seen people make $4,000 in five minutes on this market. Yeah, they invested a little bit, but it's a little bit. I'm talking about like a couple hundred dollars and you're making $4,000 in a matter of minutes. And you don't have to worry about the FBI, the CIA. You, you know what I mean? Like, that's what got me. I'm like, yeah, all right. Let me go ahead and make this fast legal money real, real quick. I ain't got to worry about nothing. You don't have to worry about paying anybody back because you're making it. You're earning your your own money off of your own money. Like you know, I was heavy on those business loans, trying to get those going because they give you a quarter million, and you can pay that back. Mm -hmm. Coming from my position of not having a quarter a quarter million, and being able to come into that type of uh, money overnight, that would be a lovely blessing to acquire a business loan. But with the forex market, I'd be able to acquire a quarter million on my own. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that, that takes a lot of discipline and definitely investment like anything else. I, I haven't really um, dealt with um, online trading as much. Um, uh, just because I, I look at it more as a gamble. Um, I'm with you. I'm sorry about that. I'm listening. I don't, um, it's not something that I've really invested much time in, you know, but I'm, I've always tried to be a little bit open to, you know, people that are expressing that they're utilizing that as um, a way to supplement the income. Well, I mean, the more information that you have about something, you know what I mean? The better it is to make a decision. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. So it's definitely an option amongst uh, different ways to be independent uh, or become independently wealthy. And there are some people that are doing that. Can I keep it all the way 100? You know that car I just paid for? Or not paid for, but the one I just acquired? Mm -hmm. Forex actually just paid the car note last week. So that was a part of the contributions. It was a beautiful from, thing. From that as a stream of independent income? Yes, sir. Okay. You know, those withdrawals are something serious. Like uh, the people I signed up with, they say that they don't want you to become a master, a master uh, trader. They want you to become a master of drawer. Because if you're a master trader, you're trading all day. But if you're a master withdrawer, then you're just taking money out all day. Well, I mean, that that sounds pretty good. It also do, does sound like a sales pitch. It definitely is a sales pitch. But it sold me. And I'm here giving my testimony that it works. <laughs> well, that's what's up. Well, look, check this out. I think this meeting um, has kind of uh, touched on the basis that I really wanted to touch in regards to international marketing. We had someone from Lithuania, um, Lithuania. California and Africa tap in. And, and where are you located? I'm in Hawthorne, California. Okay. So um, really, I don't really think that it needs to go the full hour. Um, it kind of proves the point of what the marketing is about. And that's kind of what I wanted to, to really uh, emphasize, um, you know, this week or with this network meeting for the summer and then kind of expand upon that. So I just, I want to definitely thank you for dropping in and uh, 
you know, being a, a supporter and, and again, let them know where they can find you online. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm at Get Ugly on Instagram. You Stace Glover on Facebook. Get Ugly on Twitter. That's Get Ugly with three G's and an underscore between getting ugly. And, uh, yeah. All right. You know. You, you've definitely, uh, you know, been around. We're going to keep uh, building on what we have going. And again, uh, this will be broadcast on uh, Spotify along with the YouTube channel and uh, promoted on our uh, marketing platforms uh, through TonyStarksMarketing.com. And stay tuned for upcoming things from Tony Starks Marketing on IG Pay Promotions. Thanks again for tuning in. No miss opportunities, you know, to make money. You all have a great day. I'll catch you guys later.